Hello. Hey guys, hey. Happy Thursday. Thursday. Who are we kidding? Give me a second here. I just have to get this out of the way quick. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Got it. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. Look at all y'all faces. My computer, I just, I got rid of my, uh, I'm getting a new, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a monitor, <laughs> so I don't have my monitor at the moment, I'm just looking at my little laptop screen, and it's a little bit different, we'll see how that goes, oh, I forgot about music, happy belated birthday, thank you guys, the ice cream cones and the cakes, giving me props already, you sweet, sweet angels, Oh, I thought I was organized today, and here I am just frazzled again. Story of my life. Who do we got in here? Oh, we've got Grunge Mania, Justin. Oh, God, no. 
Svengali, you guys. You don't have to give me gold. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Those are always just extra treats. I don't expect y'all to give me props. How's it going? Can you hear me? Can you hear my music? Is it choppy? How's it going? Too tired from work, but you'll paint this later. Hey, that's fine. Showing up's the best part. We love having you in the peanut gallery. Peanut gallery, peanut gallery. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of peanut gallery folks today. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I just got a new pair of glasses. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a problem. I got a new pair of glasses today. Um, a new prescription. And I'm just noticing now that it's too late because I just put my glasses on. Like, I almost can't read my screen because they're for close. So I can, like, see this well. But I'm going to be squinting at your comments the whole time. I can feel it already. We're going to have to resolve that another time. Um, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I can see way better close up. So that's a positive. Dan laughed because I like showed him all my new glasses here. Like, uh, they're exactly the same as all your other ones. But no, look, these ones are pink and they only go halfway around. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. Pink and groovy, right? I was like, I have to like keep with my original a little bit, but like go a little not too, right? Spice it up a bit. I got some other brands or other styles. Um... That's just, I'm just going off the chains as I usually do. Hello, everybody. Welcome to paint night. We are painting this little guy. It's so funny because I can point. Oh, look, in both cameras, this is pointing the right way. We're painting that little guy up there. A little xenomorph. I think is how you pronounce it. I always butcher words, so don't mind me there. He's a little guy I painted. Actually, funny story. I started this thing called like paint blob challenge I guess it was called and I would do a random paint blob in my sketchbook let everybody decide or like think of what they think the blob looks like and then I draw it into something in the end and this was my very first one I think I've done almost about like 15 of them this was my very first one and I think he's so cute and hilarious a little blobby paint exactly and he's a cute version of a really, like, scary, not nice thing. <laughs> so, you know, you can add that little speech bubble at the top if you want. You don't gotta. Thanks to Grunge Mania in the comments there just helping me out. She's... Owl God... <laughs> Owl God, no, sorry. Was saying that they don't know if they're gonna paint this. But they'll paint because they're nervous. Don't be nervous. I do it step by step. This one's like even not that bad, okay? Look it. It looks odd, but I drew, which camera should we do? Let's do this one. I drew out the shapes of what we're doing for this little guy. And look how easy, it's like three circles and some lines, all right? Easy peasy. So welcome to Paint Night if you've never been here before. Let me get into it so I don't just waste all of our time like I always do gabbing away. Um, we've got a couple of, like rules or just like things to live by when you're in the studio here with me. Number one is let's try not to treat your painting too precious. The hardest thing or the biggest struggle I think that people have that are new to painting or painting for the first time or yada, yada, yada is... They're really worried about ruining it. And you like have to think about every brushstroke and you're scared to lay it down because you don't want to make the wrong move. Like try to let that go out the window. I know it's the heart, like so much easier said than done, but beauty happens in those like weird mistakes. Okay. I'm going to be all like artisty on you in that one. I'm an artist that works off of mistakes and covering them up and working with them. So that's how I teach you guys. And that's how I think it will help you kind of loosen up a little bit. If you decide to paint more another time or more on your own. Um, number two is always ask questions, especially the people live here. I copy these and put them right onto YouTube um, for people to watch who can't make it to the live. And you might have the same question that they have because I'm not a trained teacher. I just paint, you guys. I paint every day of my life and just kind of started picking up these paint nights and don't really have formal training in teaching. So if something's like confusing to you or I'm talking too fast or you're like circle back girl, I'll never be offended. And that will help people watching the YouTube video at home, right? Because they can't ask the question. 
in the moment like you guys can. Even though YouTube people come to a live because it's so fun, okay? We have fun here. <laughs> okay. Uh, number what? Three, trust. No, that's the last one. Number three is water is your friend. Some people get very frustrated because the paint won't pull or move in the direction that you want it to go. Um, it gets a little sandpapery or it doesn't go far distances with your brush. You have to keep reapplying the paint. Usually that means there's not enough water. I try to throughout the whole process tell you how your water levels should be, but just keep that in mind that water is your friend. And last rule, hello, Nick and Stickin, right? Nick and Stickin. Um, uh, last rule we have here is trust the process, okay? It's gonna look weird. Like, look, someone I think I saw said that this, he looks like a weird penis at this stage. And you know what? Maybe he does, but that's not what we're painting. So halfway through, you might be like, what am I doing? This looks weird. And maybe it doesn't look exactly like mine. It's fine because you're gonna trust the process. And in the last 10 minutes, the painting's gonna come together. It always does, I promise. And you'll feel so happy that you kept through because some people give up halfway through and I just, I don't approve of that, okay? I don't approve of that here. I'd like you to come to the end with me. Let's do it. All right, um, Adam's upset about dry brushing to each their own. I'm not going to say dry brushing is bad, you guys. You can use it time and place, but water is just how it's just, it makes life easier. Okay. How are you going to make cool drips if there's no water? You know what I'm saying? Don't be nervous. I promise you we're having fun here, right? Look at all these people in the comments telling you it's all going good. Look, Kenzie says she believes in us. We're good. Hello, Dresden. Hi, everybody. I think we're ready to get going. Hmm? Where's my eyeballs here? If you do want to see my paint blobs, um, if you want to see my paint blobs, they're all on my Instagram, which is also Tay Tay Ski, okay? And who's Sangali? I didn't know any art until Tay, and now I love it. That just makes my soul Sangali. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Even if you don't know art, come hang out with us. We have fun. We always learn new things, right? Right? Actually, I feel like literally every time I do learn new things here in this stream. Okay, dokay. I saw somebody asking earlier about size of canvas. Also, not a big deal, okay? If you want to work small, cool. If you want to work big, cool. I think I'm using a 12 by 16. I'm pretty sure this is a 12 by 16. Doesn't matter. The original picture that we're looking at right here that we're copying is literally this big. Some people like to work big. Some people like to work small. We make this happen with what you've got at home. Okay. I promise. So you did a four by four. Yeah. Yours is going to work fine. That's so fine. Okay. We are going to start with a little brush, a pointed brush. It can be very little if you want to be skinnier. I would just suggest against like a thick, bigger tipped brush at the moment. We're going for just outlines. We're just gonna roughly start laying out this guy here, okay? Also, don't mind me while I'm gonna like the whole time I'm gonna be like looking at you guys like this so that I can see your comments. <laughs> I'm not hitting on you all, I promise. Lovely Thursday night to everyone from Tender Bear. Yes! Like, is a good old Thursday. You want me to hit on you? Just like, oh. I am a little sassy. Just a little. Okay, you guys, we're going to get off. I'm just distraction set a city today. Um, We're getting thigh low cyanide blue. That's what I'm using. But hey, you want to use ultramarine blue? You want to use a tube of paint that just says blue on it? Cool. Use whatever you want. <laughs> Ma'am, Tay's hitting on me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we are painting a thick and chunky xenomorph. Please tell me if I'm pronouncing this wrong every time I say it, because that would also be embarrassing. Um, and we're starting with a skinny brush, right? We've got some blue on our palette. And I set it up today so you can at least see. Oh, but I should probably, so you can get some of my water over here. To start with your brush, you're going to put your brush into your water dish over here. I don't know if you can see. And you're going to be scooping water onto our palette. 
just like a little shovel. And you're just gonna bring a bunch of drips onto your palette. And just grabbing a tiny touch of that blue. You're gonna mix it into the water until you get like a good chocolate milky consistency. If you've been here before, you'll know that that's how I start almost every painting. See how the paint was thick before, but now we're adding the water to it and just making this watery concoction. It's okay if it's super watered down. It's almost, to me, it's better than starting with a pencil because a pencil is just a different medium and sometimes it's frustrating to work with. But if you're not comfortable with doing outlines with the paintbrush, start with a pencil. Just go very lightly, okay? Because when you press hard, you're gonna get some graphite that is left over on the canvas and it will mix with your paints and make them a little mucky. Okay, what am I seeing here? It's pronounced chi a z m n e v s What does confuse me anymore? Like, what can I even do? I was like, what are the most misleading letters I can put? Okay, yeah, good. just throwing me off, you know? Just throwing me off the chains. <laughs> All right, everyone, take a breath. We're having fun. We're going to ignore, acknowledge the whole canvas, see kind of where this creature, try to like imagine where he's going to go. And we're going to start with this big old circle that's going to be the back of his noggin, okay? So let's just do a circle. So, ooh, that's, mm, do a circle over here. <laughs> see what I mean by it's okay to mess up? So this is a circle. And I'm just gonna put some water on my rag here. I'm just gonna wipe away this mistake. Just, it's nothing to see here, folks. Cause remember, no mistakes. It's fine, it's fine. Just take a breath. So when we are doing these initial outlines or laying out our characters, see how I did a circle like a bunch of times. It's very, I say this every time, it's like borderline impossible to make a perfect circle in one foul swoop. So go around a couple of times until the outside is the size of the circle that you want. So it looks like almost okay. But guess what? If it is weird and like a mad, like maybe we made this circle a little bit too close to the middle, it's very okay because white paint will cover up any of those issues, okay? It's probably gonna be annoying that all the time I'm just telling you like, don't worry about it. It's gonna be good, okay? But I'm gonna say it the whole time because I know that you guys are just panicking out there. I know how y'all work. <laughs> okay, so we've got a circle. And don't go along with me yet. Wait and see what's easiest for you. For some people, you might be able to just look at our little reference photo here and be like, okay, the other part of his head. <coughs> My mouth is so dry. The other part of his head goes right here. But for some of you, it might not be easy to imagine that, right? So some of you might want to start with this smaller circle, which is the front part of his head. You can organically do it. Or some of you might want to start at that first circle that we drew and draw this line first. Completely makes no difference which one you do if you draw the circle first and then the line or if from the first circle you draw the line and then the circle you're crying you guys don't cry it's gonna like look how weird this looks already of mine like what are we painting i don't know you did nothing wrong paint isn't permanent because you can always cover up the top i mean cover up the top cover it up with more paint. When you're talking there, Al got him just did a bad thing. I regret the things I did. <laughs> See, looking with a wet rag, if this is, um, if you're working on canvas, you can kind of like erase some of your whoopsies if you do it quickly. Are these my new glasses? Yeah, these are one pair of my new glasses. Um, Oh, no, you meant my painting. Go on, Justin. Basically, right? Me. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, folks. How's that? We're coming along, we're coming along. 
Dance don't even hear you guys. I'm home alone. I'm home alone. Wow, no. We've painted a pair of glasses. I need an adult. <laughs> All right. So we've got that started. He's going to have a little jaw. It's cool, but we are going to continue roughly laying out where the rest of um, his body's going to go. And again, remember, it's rough. We're going to start doing details later. We're just laying stuff out. So we are going to come into the middle of the two circles that we did. And you're just going to draw a line straight down. Beep. Sound effects, so necessary, okay. Let me just zoom into this. Ruined? Nothing's ruined, I promise. <laughs> I really think this one's gonna be not that bad. Okay, we've got a line down. All right. And let's just draw a line kind of in the same angle. And we're just going to bring the line to kind of match up to that first circle. Look at if that's not Xenomorph head. I don't know what it is. I guess, sorry, <laughs> Stacy's not wrong. I guess I do kind of say that it's going to be easy every time. I don't know, you guys, when you break stuff down into shape, it's just easy. Okay. All right, and then from this outside of this bottom circle that we got here, let's just match up those two lines that we just did. Boop. That is also another one of my issues. As I say, it's not going to take two hours, and it always takes. It always takes two hours. <laughs> I have a very bad concept of time, okay? In all my life. It's because you distract me and just because I like don't know. I have a very bad concept of like what an hour is, I think. Okay, so we've got a head. See, look. Owl God knows like it doesn't look so bad already. Trusting the process. Here we go. And now... You shouldn't need too much paint. Realistically, when you do this chocolate milky water consistency, like you should be using like the tiniest smidge of paint and it should be consistent. Like it should go a long way. Not a problem if you need more, but you can add more water. Like your paint can be even lighter than this. Um, I just kind of do it dark enough so that you guys can see it. But again, imagine this is your pencil rough draft drawing that we are going to be like tweaking. Okay. All right, let's get that little chunky belly in there. So again, always look at our reference. Oh, it's over here. Always look at our reference photo up here and kind of try to imagine like where we're laying stuff out. Like if we're going to get that belly in there, you can see that it goes a little bit past his jawline. So acknowledge that when we paint this circle. Weep, weep. And again, like not worrying that I have to go around a couple times to get the circle you want. Maybe it's a little wider than tall. I don't know. But the chubbiness of this little creature is my favorite part. Eee! He's so cute. Okay. Now we're still using that chocolate milk consistency. Lots of water on our brush. Now we're going to come out of the side, probably almost in the middle of this jawline that we made here. And just draw a line straight up. Straight up, straight out. Ashlyn's asking if any big things coming to the shop in 2021. Girl. I actually just did update my store um, with all the new paintings I did in November. Most of the new paintings I did in November. I'm going to add a couple more. And the merch is coming, you guys. We're making sweaters. We're making t-shirts. That type of stuff. Tasty stuff's coming. Canvas prints coming. Hey, don't feel pain for your painting. We're still going. Don't you worry. 
And the shot that Ashton's talking about, thanks for the free advertising, is also Etsy Tay You can find that all on TayTaySki.com. You guys. Tay skis across the board. Okay. Don't feel pain for your painting because look, it's just like a really weird thing right now. He's coming along. We are going to draw that cute little arm. And it's literally just going to be a curved line in. Whoop. If curved is annoying, you can go straight down. Not annoying, but more difficult. You can go straight down and then bring it in. You can draw a bean, like a full... We like to call those bean science here. You want a big print of Ratatouille? I'll have to see if I offered the big sizes. I'll try and print him big and see if he looks good. And I can do that for you. All right, how's these shapes going, everybody? All right. We've got the belly. We've got his jaw coming. We've got a little bumpy head. Can't stay. Have a great day. Oh, Dresden. Always good to see you. Use a name for a few anyway. Have a good night. Appreciate you hanging by. Okay. Circle, circle. Good, good, good. Now we've got to draw that leg. And so that circle that we drew is in his full body. His body does come out a little bit more. And let's just kind of go maybe right in the middle of that bean we just made for his arm. And let's draw a line straight down to wherever we want his feet to go. They're just short, stubby feet, okay? Also, I know here's my brain just clicking to comments I saw earlier. Stacy talking about my cutie portrait behind me. That's my second annual birthday portrait. Every day before, or every night before my birthday, I'm going to try to paint a self-portrait in a new style, or in styles that I've admired throughout that year. And that's mine. I'll bring it closer later. Oh, Okay. We've already, like, got him basically here. Okay, so we've got a leg. And let's just make it a little fat rectangle, because that's right. Boop. Okay. And let's go. Oh, God, no. There's, you never throw or burn or destroy a canvas, especially if you're working acrylic. You can literally paint white over top of whatever you don't like, and it's a brand new canvas ready to go. <clears throat> I can honestly say I've never, ever thrown out a canvas. Ever. <clears throat> it might be like repurposed, and it might take a long time for me to paint over top of it, but... Never throw out a canvas, okay? All right, so we've got little chubby legs. This one was basically just a little square. We'll check back in in a bit. Have fun. Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Trust the process. See you 100%. Look at that. And trust the process, everyone. Oh, you guys are the best. You are the best. Okay. So. <clears throat> my throat's so dry. You are. We've got this body coming along here. And really the last thing we have to lay out is that cute little tail. I kind of painted mine a little lower on the canvas than I probably should have. That's my fault. Um, so I'm just going to make his tail. Come a little bit higher than in the picture that we're looking at. So let's go in the middle of that arm. We're just going to paint a swirly line of where we want his tail to go. It's almost like a backwards S, hey? I for a second had to remember that. <laughs> Make sure that it was backwards and not a real S. Okay. See that swirl there? Weep. 
you trust the process and not yourself. Well, that means you don't trust the process because you are the process. Sorry to tell you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we basically have everything laid out to get started. Yeah. Let me just make sure that I... Yip, 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 yip. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just make this tail a little bit thicker and then we'll start coloring him in. Okay? Um, we've got the tail. Uh, let's make it thicker so we've got the back this will all be colored in you don't have to color it in but just to show you guys where i'm going with it and then we're going to come on the other side of that swirl Whoop. and we'll make it the thinnest on the bottom how's that we started with just the swirl, and then we went on either side of the original swirl to create that 3D curl around look. We're going to be shading it a little bit. That'll help that as well. But realistically, we have a little chubby guy. He has little, like, I guess, yeah, we'll do that after. Okay. All right. Let's get, we're literally only using blue black and white on this painting, everybody. So take out some white, if I can open it. Take out some white on your palette and some black on your palette. Why are you offended that I call him chubby? He's chubby. He has my build, stop. He's chubby compared to his species, okay? His actual species, he's chubby. Not to human. <laughs> okay. Ugh. And remember, I say it every time, when you're using black, you don't need as much as you think. You can take the smallest amount on your palette. Black is a very powerful pigment. A little goes a long way, and I always waste it because I take too much out and I don't need it. Even though I know not to take out too much. Okay? That's what I look like after giving birth. So. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay. Alrighty. Now we are going to ditch that skinny brush. What brush are we going to use? Uh... You don't need gas. <laughs> okay. We're going to take out a bigger brush. It can be... Oh, where's my hand? A pointed fat one. It can be a square one. This one's a little crispy, just how I like it. I'm going to use this one today, but just bigger than the thin brush that we were just using, okay? What am I drawing? I know he looks a little scary at the moment, but it's just going to be a cutie little xenomorph. Right? Look at him. I've only played Among Us like once or twice. Me and Justin have to play against each other. Also, hi, Joe Kaiser. Um, We are going to start by getting our brush wet. And going into our pile of blue, but we don't want that chocolate milky consistency anymore. We want more paint on our brush than water. We still want a little bit of water because we want to be able to pull it across. But you want more paint on your brush than that watered down consistency. Okay. And we're working dark to light here. Um, and we're going to be working wet on wet which is something that's a little bit newer to the paint nights. Not newer, but we have them doing it all the time. And we are gonna take this filled brush that I mixed my brush around so I got all my bristles filled. And we're literally just gonna start coloring in our guy's head. Okay. Yep. 
And we're going to start like I try to teach you guys. When you're looking at your reference photo, I'm a very heavy reference-based artist, so I'm always looking at my reference photo too. And when you squint at it, you want to see where are the dark to the lights, right? So you can see that it's really dark on the top of his head. It's darker down by his chin over here. Do, do, do. Remember, this is acrylic paint, so we can cover it up. Don't worry if we go over some spots you don't want to. That's okay. We ton wet gang. We wet. You read it as wonton gang. A little press rates. Um, Justin just wants Jenny Craig. Uh, okay. Wait, not wants Jenny Craig. Needs Jenny Craig? You know what can you do? You don't. You don't. There's nothing wrong with seeing food everywhere you go. So we are filling in this guy's head. And we're filling in the whole thing. But once we get on down to this circle, we're just going to color in the circled spot at the moment, okay? See what I mean by where our original circle was and we're leaving this white at the moment? We're just coloring it. If you have already colored in that spot, it's literally not the end of the world. I didn't tell you quick enough, but it's okay. We can solve that problem. Not a problem at all. Remember that I like don't, <laughs> I don't put a lot of preparation into the paint nights because I don't have a lot of time in my regular work life. So I literally like get here and we like figure out how to paint it together. <laughs> so sometimes I don't tell you something quick enough and I apologize in advance for that. But like I said, there's, we can always fix it. <laughs> So we've got that head painted in and while our paint is wet and my brush is still blue, there's still blue paint on it. We are just going to grab some white on the brush, on the blue brush. Okay. And swipe it a couple times on your palette to mix it in a bit. We're going to come to the top of this little head and we're just going to do like a pull of that white color. Look, it's so subtle because it's mixing in with the white that you can hardly see it. But it's going to give us a subtle change and wipe that off on your brush a little bit too once you go back into the white. But we're just going to give a subtle shine reflection line kind of is what we're going for. We're following the shape of the head and we're working in that blue paint so that the white isn't just like a slob of white on there. That it's blending in nicely and giving us a little bit of like a value change. You can go back in with a little bit more white if you want. Some of the little highlighted areas, like give us a little pop. But see, every time you go over, it's going to blend it in a little bit, which can be nice. It's something to play with if you want to have a nice soft line. You can play around with wet on wet because the colors work nice and blend nice together. Oil, when you work in oils, it's basically always wet on wet because oil is so, it takes like weeks to dry. So that's why I personally choose acrylic because like I said, oh, if I've made a mistake, I can wait five minutes and it's dry. I can put paint over top and it'll cover it. But in oil, you have to wait for something to completely dry before you can paint over it or else it'll just blend together, blend together. Kind of like what's happening here. Okay. I'm doing the same thing. There's water and white on my brush and I'm going into my blue. I'm just going to make another little schlob here on his, this is going to be like his lip, but we'll figure that out later. And again, look like maybe you don't like what that looks like. All we have to do, let it dry. And we're going to put the same blue that we worked with before right over top. It is fine, but you're never going to learn or feel like, working wet on wet or what your brush how much water your brush needs or how little water your brush needs to get certain effects unless you try them and put them into play you might have restarted hey that's okay let me know if you have any questions if you need to catch up and again, I still have water on my brush and I'm just going to do a little of water white on my brush. I'm just going to do a little swipe at the bottom there. Hello, Madge. Good to see ya. How you doing? Oh, you know what? 
You guys, why aren't we zoomed into his face right now? It goes well. We just chilling. You like the chunky alien? Do you like it? I do. Yeah, I thought zoomed in would help a little bit more. Okay. And we're just going to kind of go through. Like, we're okay that this stuff is all weird looking at the moment. We're going to fix that later. But we're going to continue flexing these transitions. Uh-huh. I got it. I got a show that I'm just learning some stuff on here. <laughs> okay. So we are going to go on his little arm and do the same thing that we just did. So we're going to start with the blue, just blue, no white on our brush, a little bit of water, but more paint, right? On the same, like whatever, bigger brush that we're using. Then we are going to, let's just do his little arm first. So let's color in that arm. We can do a shoulder too. Do, do, do. Still watery, not super, super watery. More paint than water, but you do want to have some water on your brush to be able to pull it around. But we want the paint to go on pretty more like opaquely, right? This is like fill in um body paint <laughs> so this is what a xenomorph looks like after eating a human exactly and he's happy and in love okay we've got more solid arm yeah with less water and then if you add a little bit of water to your brush once you go into the white we'll get a little bit more translucent on there okay and we are going to go on the inside of his arm because we're going to imagine the sun is over here. Okay, so that's why there's light on the top of his head because the sun's peeking down here. So if we're looking at this shape, like we looked at that shape, his light color should go on the left side of the shape, if that makes sense. Eh? Or if that was just an awkward bunch of words that didn't make sense. But... <laughs> So now we see that if we look at his arm as just a shape by itself, on the left-hand side, it's the lightest. And as I guess at the back, it's going to be the darkest. Okay. And that's with just a swipe of white with water on your brush through wet blue paint. Okay. And you can wipe that white off your brush because now we're going to go back in and do his little chesty area. Go back in with more paint than water. So mostly paint, touch of water. And you're going to fill in this little spot, which is his little chesticles. Just kidding. <laughs> Last week I was banned for saying that name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, and we'll go back to that light theory we've got here. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'm just getting moderated already in there by my friends. Okay, so <laughs> same thing. We have the wet, dark, thick paint in that area. We're going to go in with water on our brush into that white. It's okay if there's a little blue on there still. That's okay. And we're going to picture this little chest area as one shape. So on the left-hand side of the shape, let's just like add some white in there, okay? And blend her through with that blue, but we're just trying to show a little bit of titty in there. <laughs> you caught up to the head. Hey, there you go. Look at it. We believe in you. But how's that? Do we see that in there? And remember, you can play around with this as much as you want, right? Like, let's just grab a little more pure white in there and just kind of blend it into that wet just to add a little other highlight. You can do that in his little fingies if you want, but we'll figure that out after with black. You just listen to me in the shower. What an experience. <laughs> Did I echo through the walls? Probably. Who are we kidding? Okay, how's that? We've kind of got his little body coming together. 
you guys have all listened to me in the shower. <laughs> should I am I should I be honored? <laughs> okay, let's get on down to this chubby little guy. I need a little bit more blue on my palette. Probably too much, that's fine. Creeped out or honored? Yeah, you know. Both. Just kidding, I'm not creeped out. Okay, we're going back into that belly and we're going to do that same old thing we've just been doing this whole time. So we have more paint than water on our brush. Just a little bit of water so that we can pull it around. And let's just like fill in that little belly. Are we doing anything fun for Valentine's? Hmm, that's fair. When is Valentine's Day? I haven't even changed. Oh, yeah, because it's still January. Dodoy Taylor. Um, when is Valentine's Day? What day of the week? It's a Sunday. Kenzie always gets a heart-shaped pizza just for her. Aw, Kenzie. Valentine's, what's that exactly? Kenzie, should we do a Valentine's Day stream instead and play games? Probably. Probably. This isn't official or anything, but I won't be alone. <laughs> Justin's in too. There you go, guys. Me and Darren aren't big Valentine's Day people, um, so I don't see why not. Justin's in. I have better internet now, a better computer that can handle Justin. The 10th is Ashlyn's birthday. Okay, well, what do you want to paint? <sighs> you get to choose. People who tell me it's their birthday, they get to choose that week for their paint night. Now we're going to this belly <clears throat> with white on our brushes in that wet paint, right? <clears throat> I don't know why I'm just so dry throated today. And we are going to blend in that white into that blue belly that was uh, wet. Wet blue paint. So that's why when I put the pure white in there, it's not like we're putting on a big schlob of white. It's just kind of nicely blending in there. Maybe try to be lighter on your brush to help you blend in. Oh, God knows. Birthday September. Okay, we've got some time for you to decide what you want to paint for your birthday. <laughs> okay, we've got some white in that belly. And then on his leg, too. Remember, if you look at the leg as a shape, let's acknowledge that the left... Oh, yeah. Pfft, sorry. I'm just painting down at the bottom. You guys can't even see. Um... If we look at the leg as a shape of its own, we're going to go to the left-hand side to make it lighter. Just like we did to the arm, just like we did to his little belly. Okay, see you soon, Owl. See, that's why I need you guys to comment, because I wouldn't have even noticed that I wasn't zoomed in properly. Yeah. One of my friends was telling me that she did, uh, which one? It was the It, the Pennywise uh, paint night with her little nephew. And the Pennywise paint, Pennywise paint night was when one of Kenzie and I's Taloween days. And that was a crazy few days of streaming for us. And the paint night is such a mess because we like had to set everything up. Like it was a gong show. And she said that there was like one point where her <laughs> her little nephew was like, Auntie, move the camera. I can't see where she's painting. But it's like, no, I didn't move the camera. Like in the video, it was like showing up here, but I was like painting down here for so long. And messed that up for everybody. So sorry about that in advance. We did our best. We did our best. I think we're a little more prepared now with our devices and what we've got. You guys guessed it, though. We're going through his little body parts doing the same thing. Like, let's color in this little leg down here. You can cover it over the leg. I mean, the tail if you want. And make some little sharp points out the bottom if you want for cutie little toes. Little triangles out the bottom. Maybe if I zoom in and bring it up more for that. You see those little triangles? Meep, meep. Meep. 
And once again, get some water on your brush, go into the white, and just make a couple little swipe swipies of some light white on the left-hand side of the shape of his foot. If that makes sense. People just coming in is like, what is she saying? My problem is I always just like, I teach every paint night like, um, I teach every paint night like you guys have come to every single one of them, but I know you guys all haven't. <laughs> so let me know if you're like, what are you even talking about? Just add a little more white in that belly. Al God No says that they did a horrible thing. Explain. Because you probably didn't. My paint got on my Chromebook. Ah. Don't worry about it. As long as you didn't like pour wet water on your paintbrush. Um, let the paint dry and you'll be able to either scratch it off, microfiber it off. Don't worry. Yeah, like Justin said, now you just match me. I can even, while you guys just finish that part. Just to make you feel better. Check my... <laughs> check that part. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, you guys can't... Yeah, whatever, that was close enough. Everything that I own is filled with paint. It's probably paint on the bottom of it, too. Oh, maybe not as bad. Oh, yeah, just a little up there. Keep. My cell phone, my watch, my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's paint everywhere. How are we doing, everyone? Are we just painting along, enjoying this repetitive process? I'm going back into my blue. Paint and glitter, because I put glitter in all my paintings too. And uh, one time when I went to visit Justin in California, I remember, where was I? Whatever, in my cross, where was my stop? I had a layover somewhere and I went to the washroom and I remember I got up and I was like, oh, there's a glitter on the toilet seat. It was totally my glitter. It came from my house all the way to the States. And then Justin was finding glitter in his house for days after. It's just, it's a problem. I think I want to paint jellyfish like a rainbow on your birthday. Oh, girl. I know I'm trying to get better at teaching the rainbow stuff because that's kind of my like signature. Next week we are painting a rainbow zebra, which is fun. I think <laughs> I don't know. Is it fun? I think so. Um, all you painters here, just at the end of this tale, you're just gonna paint a long triangle. I think, yeah. How's that? How's that? Tay goes, oh, hello, Bubsy. Oh, I missed coming in quick sleep up at 445. Yeah, you go to bed crazy. But yeah, I go to Cali with glitter. I don't mean to go to Cali with glitter. It just the glitter follows me. Gladly. Okay, and while we've got that paint wet on the tail we're going into the white with a wet brush i'm just getting a tiny bit smaller of a brush mm, you might want to too i'm not sure with the size we're gonna come to the first corner of our tail and we're just gonna add a little bit of that white following the shape do you see how i'm just like implying like the tail has folded Let me get here with black. We'll be able to clean it all up. But we want it to be light in that spot. And then we're imagining we're seeing. So this is this side of the tail, but this is the other side. So this side's darker. So we're going to come back around and let's paint right over on top of this curve. We want that to be a little bit lighter too. Maybe you'll get some neon paint. I'll send you the picture you found. Ooh, yeah, girl. Send it to me. I like it. We did do a jellyfish before on my channel, but I don't... We didn't make him rainbow. 
All right, and still with that white, I just came to the bottom of that triangle and I just added a little bit of light in there too, and I did it on the wrong side. Oops. No one will know. <laughs> okay. So our little guy is really coming together. Now with that same brush that we just had white on, we're gonna go back into the blue and we're just gonna start drawing some little squares. Me, me. On the top of his tail. Let's see in my zoom in, is it? Okay, yeah, you can still kind of see that there. See how I just put some little squares? Right into where we started adding the white. But now the squares are gonna be on the top. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get some chips and let me know when you're on the head part, please. Okay, okay, we're close, we're close. We're just drawing some little squares. Oh, I went all the way back down again, you can't see it. How's that? For them little tails. And same thing when you go back around, you want to be on the top. Meep, 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 meep. A mustard tiger production, honestly. <laughs> honestly, you guys, what would I do without you? Okay, okay. What do we get to do next? Probably be less distracted. <laughs> less distracted, but less resolved on the back end, I think. All right, folks, we're getting our black out now. And the first thing that we're going to do is... Let me figure out what we're going to do first. Uh, we are going to... Add a tiny touch of black to a big old pile of blue. And remember what I said, pigment, black pigment is very, very powerful. So when I say like a smidgen of black, I mean like the tiniest little pin of black. Just for us to get a darker blue, okay? Tay didn't give me a remote in the closet today. <laughs> Kenzie, I don't want people to think I lock in my closet. Okay. Only sometimes. Okay, cool. Thanks, Ashlyn. I will check that after for sure. Now we've got the blue with a touch of black. Hello, Daryl. So it's just a little bit darker than what we've been using this whole time. And we're going to kind of start like, I don't know what, defining shape, setting up more detail in this stage. Okay. And in the end, black will bring it all together. So we're going to start by coming up to his jaw here. Remember that line that we drew? And we're just going to draw another one straight up. Try to kind of remember where your first one was. It's not a super dark difference. You can, can you guys see? Oh, I'll come back into the zoom more. I guess I'm doing the head owl. <laughs> I'm doing the head in some other parts, but the head as well. Um, we've got that jawline. And from that jawline, we're going to draw a line straight out, but it's not going to be straight. We're going to kind of be parallel to this curve at the top, okay? We've got a little bit of water on our brush, not too much, because again, we want it to be opaque. Tie is it, okay? And we're going to start at the top of that line, and we're going to follow the curve of that circle head. How's that? See what we did there? Yep. And then come about halfway, like if you're looking at the head here, halfway down. And let's do another one of those lines parallel. Yep. Sneak it on down. Right? And remember, if your paintbrush doesn't seem to be pulling nicely, then Add more water to your brush. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying there for a second. Okay, so we've got those two lines and we're gonna do one more almost at the very bottom of his head. 
We're going to parallel those lines, but the difference about this one is we want it to come to a point with that line there. See that? Coo, coo, coo. Coo, coo, coo. And then realistically, you can kind of make this a little bit thicker, this line here, a little bit thicker because it shows shadow. Right? Beauty. Okay. We've still got this blue with a touch of black in it. And we're going to come on down this jawline here. But it's, again, not going to be a straight line down. Sh I'll show you slowly. It's always best to watch me do it first before you do it. So we're down at the bottom of this jawline. And we are going to pull up a little bit before we come down. All right. See how we came up a little bit and then we came on down. Come on down. And at the bottom, it just curves. We've got a little curve up. See, chin, here's the jaw, curve on up, come on down. And there we go. You always love how it comes together. That is the best part, isn't it? It is. That's why I, it's like funny. I like watching my own time lapses too, because I like don't think about it. Um, I don't think about how to paint things ever. I just like, it's just something that my brain shuts off for. So when I watch the time lapse, it's cool for me to like, see it come together too. I'm like, damn, that's cool. <laughs> Art's cool guys. Painting's cool. Okay. So we're still on this face. We did that cutie little curve at the bottom there. Yeah. Yours looks awesome. <laughs> see prime example of trust in the process. Am I right? Okay, we are going to come up here. We've got his little chin. It's totally okay if we made it thicker than we actually want it to be. We're just mapping stuff out at the start. That's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to start at the edge of where his mouth is. Okay, we're just going to draw a line straight down. You love my birthday portrait? Oh, can you guys see it here too? Thank you. It, uh, I love it too, actually. It was really fun for me to do. It didn't look like what I pictured it to look like, but I'm happy with how it turned out in the end. Okay, we've got this line, and now we are going to conjoin this with that one, but we're just going to be parallel to the bottom line that we just did. So just try to mock it. Like, I always say play keep away is the best way for me to describe it. Play keep away from the line that you were trying to mock and then match it up to that little chin that we made there. Okay. It's so you. Just colorful and chaotic. I'll take it. <laughs> My mom said that too, though. She liked it too because she thought it was very me. What's Justin uh-ohing? The updrip police is here. Uh-oh. We'll get some drips in there soon. Don't y'all worry. Okay. Now we've got the top of his face. And remember, like, it's okay if we didn't fully plan everything out. Like, maybe we're going to make his mouth a little bit bigger than what uh, we anticipated with our first original shapes. Okay. So I'm going to come up a little bit higher. But I'm still going to mock the shape of this circle because that is the perspective we need to show an open mouth. Okay? So from the top of this mouth, we're just going to come on down. Oops. It's hard for me to do it on that side. I should have went from this way. Weep. So all this is going to become inside of his mouth. Um, But... See how I mocked still the same shape of this line of that original circle we drew. Yep. I just wanted to make his mouth bigger. I think that's better. And you can cap that off at the top. What do you do with all the paintings for paint nights? <laughs> or paintings from paint nights? I'm just laughing at Kenzie's response. She uses them for a bed in the closet. Because she actually could. There are so many. I'll take a picture and post it on my story tonight. 
of how many paint night paintings I have packed <laughs> away in there. Um, I put some of them up on my, in, my website, taytacy.com in the exclusive section. A lot of people actually have picked up a couple random ones. Like, um, Nikki's a good example. She, um, on her birthday, she suggested we do that monkey holding the coffee cup. And, uh, we did that for her and she painted it for herself, but then she wanted to buy the original too. So she bought that off my website, sent it to her. Um, there's like the cheeseburgers on there. I sell some of them. I keep them around, but I'll, they're everywhere. They're taking up a lot of space, <laughs> but, uh, okay. Where are we at with this head? If you want, you can continue this outline. Oh, oops. I just went off the trails there a little bit, but I sell them for like 40 bucks. Maybe just cheapies. Good night to the schlob mom. <laughs> Bubsy. <laughs> TJ's key schlob mom. <laughs> Guys, I think that's the one. Man, that's a good one. Um, Remember at this time when you're painting, like you can do whatever you want. Like maybe you don't like the shape of his head. Like, you can bring it out a little bit more with that outline if you want. All right. Oops. Um, if you like the shape, that's fine. If you want to make his head bigger, like bring it out down there. That's fine. Okay. And you know what's nice? His head. Where it is? Why isn't this zooming in for me? Oh, that's why. His eyeball is literally with black. We're still using this blue black color. His eye. Oh, my paintbrush just got away on me. His eye is right beside this mouth we made, and it's literally just a bean. Me. You can color it in fully. You can leave a little slit of blue. It's okay because we can go back in there and do whatever we need to make it look like the final. But there's a nice little eye. An easy peasy eye. Okay. Oh, there's actually even a line right down the middle of this weird thing. Boop. Now, let's continue down his little body here. Why can't I see him all? Okay, and we're going to start with his shoulder blades. We're still using this blue-black color. We're still using a little bit of water on our brush, but we want it pretty opaque, so not too much water on our brush, okay? And we're going to come on down from his jawline and we're just going to puff up a little bit. Oh, maybe I can zoom in for now. Okay, that's good for now. You can puff up uh, his shoulder blade with a U, basically. Just a little U. And just sharpen off the shoulder. And from that shoulder, we're just pulling it up to a little triangle and then just coming on down. Check that out. Easy. And same old thing. Let's just sharpen up the shoulder out from that one crease. And we will just add those lines together. Right. Back to eating chips. Right. Sorry, I jump around a lot. So that's the it's the only way I know how to paint, you guys. And then right over top that little chest highlight that we made took everything inside me not to call it what I know you don't want me to call it. We are just gonna add that line that just covers the top and matches with the first the last shoulder crease. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's funny that you guys can like see inside of my glasses from this view. Okay. 
We've got a couple shoulder blades going, just sharpened out those edges a little bit. Coo, coo, coo. Now we are going to, why can't I go back? Let's go to his little arm. And we're again, just going to match those lines where we originally drew, but I curved this in a little bit. So his arms going like this, right? Like a curve again, go over some of those lines that we originally made. His hands are easy peasy. We're just outlining some triangles. One, two, three. Can you still see that zoomed in? Yep. Good. Oh, God found their glasses halfway through the painting. Perfect. <laughs> It's funny because since I'm cross-eyed, my depth perception is very off. So like if I don't wear my glass, it's very evident that like the whole right side, because that's the eye that's crossed, is like skewed and weird. I can like see, okay, it's just a little fuzzy, but it's mostly my depth perception that I need to um, have fixed with my glasses. Okay. I just outlined that arm and look how easy that was. Arm, bada boom, bada bing. Now we're going to go to his little belly. He's got those like rib cage on the outside type thing going. And we're going to start by right underneath that jawline. We're just going to draw a circle, but we want to keep the inside his belly color, right? So it's just a black outline circle. And then underneath it and to the left a little bit, we're going to do another one. Just like he's a snowman. And we just gave him some cute button whatchamacallits. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a belly button, maybe a nipple. We don't know what we're working with yet. But let's make those weird rib cages. Okay. So in the middle of those two lines that we made, and remember, we're always being conscious that we're drawing on this circle. So to try to keep it 3D looking, <laughs> I don't know why I just did this. I meant to go like <laughs> this, as 3D looking as we can. I just wanted to squish that little belly. Um, but we are going to mock the line of the circle, which like the keep away we were playing before. So I'm gonna go in the middle of these two circles, and I'm going to draw a line, but it's not going to be straight. It's going to be curved like the circle that it's in, right? Same on this side. We're going to go out and it's just going to curve down a little bit. And then underneath this bottom circle, we're going to do another line. Same thing. It kind of just curves with that belly. Same thing on this side. Curves with the belly. And add some more on top and one right under that jawline. Man, I made this one chubbier than the original that we're working from, and that's awesome. <laughs> Most of my paint nights do turn out chubby. Who are we kidding? Okay. You can even kind of make them all come a little bit closer to a point if you want. Okay. How is that? <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, and now we're going to keep on going down to his little belly and fat legs. So funny. Still using this blue-black we made. I'm almost running out of it, but that's okay. And let's start by just outlining that stomach. Okay, coming all the way right past. Once we get to that bottom leg, we're just going to bring that line up a little bit to show that he's chubby as heck. Okay. And we're going to make <laughs> his chubby little rolls on his leg. Okay. So we come under that we just made and we're going to make just like a tube. Like, so we've got one line. And we've got one more line right underneath it just to make two little fat rolls. Can you guys see that okay? Oh, I just realized my music stopped. When did that happen? Hmm. 
Oh, it must have. Oh. Realistically, if you guys can't hear my music with my new setup, it's probably good. Then you guys can listen to your own music. And then my music's just in the background so I don't go insane myself. Okay. We're still using this blue black. Let's give him one little fat roll underneath this leg as well. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. And then you are just going to keep outlining. Like, let's give him some of those pointy little feet we had here with those triangles that we drew. You can just outline them a little bit. Okay. And the tail, we outline the bottom, we outline the top, underneath those little pokies we made. But then again, when we come to this part, we have to bring the outline around to show that this tail's curving. Yep. And as usual, you guys, you just wait till we get those white highlights in there and the painting just comes together. I'm just going to outline that. Again, tedious little things. If you want, you can outline every little square. I don't know if you want to do that. Some people might. Some people might not. If you're somebody who is really enjoying painting or wants to paint more and paint your own stuff, I would suggest getting a paint marker. Molotow paint markers are my favorite, but there's many. Um, and they solve problems like this. Like you don't need a brush you could use a little paint marker but they just save the day i don't suggest them to everyone like if you're just trying to paint for fun here and there they can be expensive but if you want or are more serious about painting paint markers are beautiful okay so we've got this little creature. Our paint marker is capable of up drips. Oh, Ilum. They are capable of mocking up drips. Or if you have very big ones and are willing to use lots of your paint mixture, a paint marker could do an up drip. I just don't know if it would be the smartest way to do an up drip, that's all. But I also am picking up what you're laying down about, like, let's get some up drips. <laughs> okay so again this we're coming to a part a part of the process that is very dependent on your paint at home okay so it might it's you would know better than i if your white paint could completely paint on top of another color i use golden acrylic titanium white like this paint literally will cover up anything um, but there's some people's quality of paint where their white just can't do it. And that's okay too. So if your paint is strong and you trust it, you can color in this whole area black. Don't worry about it because your white can color right over top of that black just fine, right? But there are some of you out there that might not be so lucky. So what we are going to do first is just kind of roughly plan where our teeth are going to go so we paint around them with the black because you don't want to paint black and then not be able to cover up that black with the white um you'll be sad so we're just going to start up at that top jaw there i just have a skinny brush and i have lots of water on my brush into that blue black and we're just gonna lightly like let's draw a triangle for the first tooth we can draw a long rectangle where those other teethies are going to go. We can zoom in for now. We can draw another triangle. Yeah, sharp tooth. And then a smaller one going up. Because this is just a cutie. He doesn't have the real big scary teeth. Okay, he's just nice. And respectful. And dull teeth. Okay? And then we'll come to the bottom and we'll just lightly put in some little teethies. 
Hey, if you want yours to have sharp teeth, go for it, please. I think it's hilarious that he had, mine has like dull little teeth. Levana, cool, thanks. I can't wait. People at home are painting along too. So we'll see what everyone's looks like too. I love him. <laughs> okay, so now that you have the teeth roughly laid out, you can take a little bit of a bigger brush and just fill in that area with black or the blue, black, whatever you want. But we're just going to go into those spots where the teeth are not. And we're going to color it in. Remember, I did this off a paint blob, so it's not like the proportions and everything are perfect, perfect, but that's okay. We can add a couple more teeth if you want, not the end of the world. Okay, filling that in. Good. While we have a little bit of darker black on our brush, even if it's pure black, whatever you're using, whatever you prefer, we'll go in. We still have the same size brush, but I'm just going to add a little more water than we used to have. And I'm just going to go in some spots that I want shadows. I just want to darken it up a little bit. So that's why I'm using lots of water for our paint to go on translucently. And we're just going to fill in some spots. Remember, I'm finding these spots by squinting at my reference photo that you guys can't see because I changed it. By squinting at my reference photo and seeing where those dark spots belong, right? So a little bit in his armpit here, a little bit up around his shoulder blades. Maybe there's some underneath his little belly ribs or whatever the heck you want to call those, right? Some underneath here. Remember, there's water on my brush, so it's pulling around pretty lightly. We want to push back that leg so the tail pops through. And maybe a little bit right here. Okay? Again, doesn't have to do this part either. It is just an extra detail. Everybody can decide how far they want to push the detail on their painting. A lot of people take the next like 45 minutes to an hour, or even the next day to like keep working on their paintings before they feel like they're done. Levana wishes they were very good at drawing. Well, looks like you came to the right place. I teach how to paint something every Thursday. Here, only on caffeine. Only live on caffeine. We should go step by step through. So if you want to see how these classes go, you can check out my YouTube. It's the same uh, Tay Tay Ski here as my caffeine is. And I try to teach them easy peasy for anyone. People who don't know how to draw, people who do. Just like Svengali saying there, I never knew how until my classes. <laughs> Which just makes me cry. Okay. We will do just one more step with this watery down, blacky blue, maybe it's full black, whatever, on our brush. We're going to come into these two spots that we have on the head here. And we are just going to lightly draw some of these lines. And they're all curved out, so imagine they're all following this line. So see how they're all curved in that direction. The bottom ones can be a little more straight. And it's okay if these are just roughly put on, right? Because we're putting white, if you look at the reference photo, we're putting white right over top. This is just to add some depth and value change in there. And we're just going to wait for some things to dry. And you guys, we're putting just some white highlights and teeth. And oh, <laughs> I forgot his tongue. So we just ignore what I said about, we are going to wait for everything to dry. But while we do, we are going to grab just a little bit of the blue that we've been using for everything as our base. Blue right out of the tube. And we're going to draw just a line right out of his mouth. Meh.
¿Vale? O sea... And at the end of it, there's literally just like a C, basically. A backward C. Sorry, why? I just forget letters today. You guys, breaking news. Al God No likes their painting a lot. Uh, you guys, that's a big deal. Trust in the process. Trust in the process. So you've decided to keep out the tongue. See, that's fine. Of course. It's your painting. If you don't like an attribute or something that I added to it, like, don't do it. It's not like you're going to fail the class. No one ever fails the class, okay? My passing rate is 100. <laughs> Just kidding. You're not being graded. <laughs> okay. But there's a little tongue. Look at how easy. Just a little C. That's fine. Okay, and as we wait for all of those other things we just did to dry, we are going to get pure white out, okay? Pure white on our palettes and a thinner brush of some sort. This is what I was going to use, but again, depending on your preference, like preference, sorry, I didn't say that word right, um... This is like probably a little too thin, but maybe whatever floats your boat. Okay, what time is it? 9.30 and we're on the white highlight stage. That's pretty good. Okay, so we've got pure white on our brush. Some of us, I probably should too. We may, it may be a good time for you to change your paint water. If it's very blue, your pure white will be compromised every time you use it. Um, heading out now, I'll check out your YouTube channel in a bit. Oh, sweet angel. Thank you, Lavana. Fantastic drawing, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Happy you stumbled upon us. Okay, we've got, if you've changed out your paint water, beautiful. I'm going to see if I should. I probably should. I probably should. Hmm. I'm lazy. Okay. We're getting pure white on our brushes. And when we're using pure white highlight, you want mostly paint because you want that baby to go on opaque and to cover up our mistakes. But first, we're going to start by just coloring in them teethies. If your black or whatever there is um, still wet, you probably should wait until it's dry. Acrylic paint should never really take longer than five minutes to dry completely. You can always blow dry it if you need. That's cool too. Let's zoom in a little bit on these teethies, okay? And remember, it is pure white, not much water on my brush because I don't want it to be translucent. I want these teeth to appear nice and strong and bold colored. The lines that we drew originally planning out these teeth are not permanent. You can break out of them if you feel like maybe this teeth needs to be bigger. Maybe it needs to have another tooth. Like let's add another one in there. I don't know. Right? And some little teethies down here. Oh, oops. How's that? Oh, it's cute. Oh, my eyes can't see that far. This is going to be a problem. Oops. Oops, oops. Same. <laughs> Gosh darn glasses. Okay. Now let's have some fun. 
And I say fun because white highlight to me just brings a painting together. White is always my very last step. So we are going to start, oops, we are going to start, zoom in a little bit here, little guy, okay. We're going to start by, let's do a thin little line of white on the outside. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's not thin at all. <laughs> But that's how it'll stay. That's fine. I'll just use a smaller brush. Okay. And we're going to come on the other side of that oval that we drew. Bean. Bean science. And we're going to draw another little outline on there. They can touch at the top. Okay. And what can we do in here? We can add some little white highlight to that jawline. We can bring a line right on up. Remember, if your paint isn't moving well, you can dip your paintbrush in the water to help it move a little bit, but we don't want to make that chocolate milky consistency or anything because we still want our paint to be pretty opaque, right? We just don't want it to be sandpapery. That's why we need a touch of water. We can add a little white highlight on that nice lip of his. Remember, when you want a line to be thin, don't press too hard on your paintbrush. You literally want just the tip of your brush touching the canvas. That's how you get those thin lines very lightly touching your paintbrush. Because when you press hard, you use every bristle and it'll automatically make your line thicker, okay? I know I've said this like a million times and I haven't done it yet, but I swear, I swear I'm gonna have a, um, what is it called? Just like a tips and tricks video on my YouTube that you guys can resort back to of like how to do a line, how to do splatter, like all of those type of things, like a little technique video. Just so that I don't have to repeat it every time. So it's like people can resort back to it um, before they start. Okay, here we go. Look where I'm going with these white outlines and these little shoulder lines. I'm just coming right above the dark line we already drew. Okay. And what else are we doing in here? The white highlights. I told you, you guys, I'm a sucker for a white highlight. Al God is so proud in all capitals, loves there so much. Okay, still we have white on our brush. We've got a little bit of water. And we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with those other lines. But we're going to kind of try to go in the middle of the black lines that we already did. It doesn't have to be. It can be rough. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you want to be able to see some of those black lines. You want to be able to see some of the blue. And forget about giving this to my dad. You're keeping it for yourself on your wall. Sweet. Hey, but since it's a YouTube video, you can go back and you can paint another one for your dad. People have done that very often where they paint live with me and then they go back later and paint another one. And they're always, if Stacy's still here, she can say too, second one's always better. And then I can leave it up to you. You can decide if you give your dad the better one or not. <laughs> Always. Or, you know, eight months later. Yeah, see, she had a breakdown with Gizmo. Her and Gizmo didn't have a good time together. But eight months later, she came back to him and it was beautiful. She made a beautiful masterpiece. Why do I feel like my camera doesn't look zoomed in? It looks blurry. Okay, how's that? How's that white highlights going? 
and keep going throughout the whole thing. Like on here, let's make like a little white highlight on the top of that button belly. Oh, maybe zooming in will also be better for that because it's close. And then same over here. Like, let's make some white lines just over top of those little ribbies. Boop, boop. Grunge Media showed a client her paintings and she gasped at how good Gizmo was. Okay, that's amazing. A gasp. A full gasp. We've got a little chunk alert. Yeah, we do. We're going back to... Sorry, I just jumped so many times. Just don't want to make y'all sick. We are going to that little belly. So let's come on down and we've got that pure white. Oh, gosh. Wow, I just went off the charts there. I will add extra stuff and that's... I love that. I want you guys to do that. I love a little freestyling. Okay, we've got a belly. Now let's come on down. Let's just make a couple of little white lines. They're just quick and painless. I was turning to Matthew McConaughey there for a second. <laughs> for some reason. And over here too. Like we're just kind of going where we went before. And just adding tiny touches of white to just imply that sun is just shining on there. It's a very like gra like my teachers would probably hate that I'm like teaching you guys just to toss white highlights everywhere. <laughs> But that's how I like it, okay? Okay, and let's give him a little bit on his hands with some nails. Make some nails in there. Okay. If you want, you can outline off that arm so it sticks out better. Also, for some of you newbies, this is a part that I always forget to teach you. Um, you can use white paint as a white out, white out in a sense, right? So let's just say, for example, sorry, I'm zooming you in one more time. Let's just say I don't like the shape of this guy's head. Maybe I just want it to be a little bit sharper. I'm going to use pure white on my brush, hardly any water at all, because I want it to go on nice and thick. And I can just like paint away some of the parts of his head that I don't like. If you want. Maybe you didn't like the shape. Maybe you wanted to make his tongue pop out more. I don't know. But white is such a great way to just hide any of your whoopsies. Okay? Oops. I'm just getting away of myself here. Anyway, there you go. On the tail as well with our pure white highlight, add a little more water than you would if you were doing that whoopsies technique I was just showing you. But same thing down here. It's probably best for us to highlight this little tail in white so that it sticks out apart from that little leg that we drew there, right? Oh, I'm zoomed, <laughs> just a jerk again. I was just outlining here. So realistically, we basically have our little chunky guy. There is one more white line that I did. Um, again, up to your discretion if you want to do it or not. But I just like defining the head shape with another pure white line right here. Maybe not for everyone. Don't do it if you don't want to. But I think it makes them look a little bit more shiny, glossy. When you have like a very sharp um, highlight line. Oops. Boop. All right, I feel like. 
We are probably, I don't know if you want to put like a little white highlight on this tail or two or not. But look at what just like a subtle little just line makes everything just look so nice. You absolutely love yours. Okay, Al God, you please send me a picture of it. If you're on Instagram, you can DM me a picture and I can show the class or I cannot show the class. This is my stage of telling everybody to start sending in your pictures. Um, I did forget a very important part though, as I'm here. We forgot his funny little belly button. Uh, so I'm just going to do a circle of white and I'm going to put a black spot in there. You don't have to send in a picture. There's no pressure, but it's nice. People love seeing everybody's at the end. Is he basically good to go? Realistically, at the end, too, you can outline everything more if you want. You can even bring out pure black if you want to bump it up a little bit more and outline some elements. Like, you can... Let me see here. My hand always hits the microphone when I'm over here. Sorry, guys. You can come back in and you can outline his little teethies if you want. The best thing about the teeth is I made them kind of human and like rounded at the top. It's his little gums. TSMR. <laughs> yeah, with this new microphone in it, you do hear a lot more than usual anyway. But I should. It would just me be tapping and like dropping shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get some little teethies we've got satisfied customers completely satisfied with yours love that okay so we like I guess I didn't really fully um I'm so glad I didn't give up look at your poster child to everything I say at the beginning of this of my pay nights and I love it <laughs> I've got no you guys just proved everything that I tell you at the beginning so if you're just watching and was nervous to paint or if you gave up halfway through Take it from Al God, no. All I think when I say your name is, Al oh, God, no. God, no. Office, no, anybody? Um, and uh, let's uh, see what else. I guess my original one has that cute little like speech bubble at the top. I don't know if you guys want that. What time is it? 10.45. Ooh, she did it, folks. She... Finished a paint night before the two-hour time limit. Love it. Okay. So, if you want to do the little cutie heart up there, I would suggest drawing the heart first. Sometimes it's harder to draw in a space. It's easier to contain a shape than draw something in a shape. So, to draw a little heart, let's just pick right here. It's always, I think, easiest to start with one side, almost like an ear, and to match it up on the other side. My paintbrush is terrible. Whoop. So we've got a heart. I probably should have used a smaller paintbrush, but that's fine. I'm also going to color in the heart. That's probably easier. Right, color in that cutie little hearty. Okay, okay, okay. And then the easiest is to draw a line straight out the bottom. Wow, why is my paint so terrible right now? 
Straight out the bottom. Boop. And then we're going to make a cutie little rounded box around it. Wow, why do I keep using this paintbrush? Uh, <laughs> let's try this one. There you go. Round out a cute little box around it and just match up with that line to make it a cute little speech bubble. Sorry, I just did that so terribly. But starting with the line at the bottom, I think, is the important step. A long line at the bottom and then curve in your little square all around the edges. Okay. How do we feel, everybody? Were there other paint-alongers? Does anybody else have any questiones? Should we do some drips? Is Ilum still here? Did he wait out long enough for me and the drips? If you want to give him like a little shadow to sit on, you can kind of go back to our first step where we did our chocolate milky consistency of paint. Go just in the black. And your canvas is probably easier if it's standing up. You can do it flat too, but I'm just gonna... Oh, this canvas is terrible. It's not even... Look how that paint is just disappearing. <laughs> so I'm not teaching you anything helpful right now. Because my canvas isn't picking it up. So this happens with cheaper canvases sometimes, and that's totally okay. It's just going to take some time. I'm just going to need to let this dry and then go over top of it later. But you get the idea. I'm doing that watery consistency. Like I'm going in with just even like, look, I'm going right into just water and coming back over that spot to let some spots drip. And that's going to dry nice and light because there's more water than paint. So it's going to be nice and translucent. and It'll give him a nice little shadow like he's laying on a surf, sitting on a surface of some sort. Okay. <laughs> we'll just pretend that's fine. How is that? Oh, I got some pictures. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my paintbrush. We've got some photos sent in. Oh my gosh, you did so good. Okay, wait, where's my computer here? You go away. You come up here. Oh, <laughs> around one. This one. Okay, check this one out. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Can you guys see the whole thing? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can also see how close I am to the camera. So good. Uh, look at that little guy. Okay, amazing. As usual. <laughs> we've got another one here look at that one <laughs> beautifully done greatly greatly executed <laughs> ah yes do i have another one in here no i don't i know there was a couple others but you might not be finished yet that is totally okay but we can just admire this one again oh so good so good! I love that little tongue. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'll wait a little bit because I know there's a couple of you. Yeah, maybe you don't want to show. Um, if you don't want to share with the class, that's okay. But you should. Because everyone loves seeing everybody's. Um, what else am I looking at here? Awesome job, everyone. Should we do like some splatter or something? I don't know. Where am I at here? For your first time, you loved it. Oh, yes. 
That's all I want to hear. You're not done, Seal Sensu. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I assume some of you guys are still working. That's totally fine. I'll just splatter around here while some of you guys paint. Because, like, look, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Like, look at me go. Okay, okay. Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we want to splatter. Do we? For you newbies, when we splatter, I always suggest to use protection <laughs> that's the best way for me to describe it splatter is uncontrollable you'll get paint places you want like i have a brand new computer bruh behind me and i used to have a monitor and not my screen there and i as i'm talking out loud i'm realizing i have to cover it up <laughs> and yes kate there you go you splatter all the time with a toothbrush that is awesome you are ahead of the game already because I'm just going to put that there for now. Because a toothbrush gives you the best types of splatter. Um, I'm going blind here because I'm covering up the screen so I can't see. But you are going to get some water in your brush. I'm using like a medium-sized, uh, can you see that? A medium-sized uh, pointed brush. And I'm trying to make that chocolate milky consistency of the blue that we've been chatting about all day. Okay. And you get a little more water on there. You want a bead to be able to form. Can you see there's a bead there? That means it's perfect. You can go, I always say, it hangs loose away from your canvas. And then you literally just flick the paintbrush. I'm so scared to get on the computer. I get it on all my other computers, but I don't want to get it on my brand new computer. So now I'm splattering like a little jerk. Come on. Well, oh, it's a good thing that I put the paper on because I splattered all over that. I'll just show you a better way for people who paint not on can on easels or in the process. If you leave it down and you make that drip that I was talking about. Oh my gosh, I just drip all over. Doo. And it'll give you nice big blobs of paint blobs or paint splatter. The higher up you hold it from the canvas, the bigger the splatter will go. The only thing I don't do this on live very often is because now if I want these to stay, I have to um, let them dry completely. And I, oh, I just pressed a button with my, get back there. Um, uh, you have to let it dry completely because if you don't, once you put it upwards, it will, the drips will literally just drip down to the ground, which is also another technique that you can use too. I was just trying to show you something that you guys can use at home. And also another thing, just because I have a Sharpie here and I usually don't, I always say it's a sin. Some other part artists will probably tell me it's a sin. Um, you can use a freaking Sharpie if you're not an experienced painter and you're just painting for yourself and you want your outlines to be nice and you're uncomfortable with a paintbrush. Like, use a freaking Sharpie. I won't tell anybody. It might be easier for you. That's fine. Realistically, the best choice is these paint markers that I was talking about. But... Not everyone has that, or not everyone has access to that. But more people have access to a Sharpie. So if you want, like, like whatever, go through it. Use a Sharpie as an outliner. It takes some time to get comfortable with um, using a brush for outline, and that's okay. Go for it with a Sharpie. Oh, God, no, loves there so much, and I love that. Eyeliner is also a great option for those that buy it but don't know how to use it, like me and you, Kenzie. I literally had to wear eyeliner today because I have like seven eyelashes left. But Kenzie is very right. All right. You can make some lines in their teeth if you want. That's cool. I don't know. I'm just, what do I call it? Um, puttering away. You can give teeth to the end of your C by just doing some little triangles out the edge of it. 
<laughs> See how this dried a lot lighter? Well, it's not fully dry yet, but it's still already a lot lighter than what it looked like when I first started. Alrighty, let me just make those blue splotches that I meant to do, that I showed you how to do but couldn't. I'm just going to paint them on. There was a splotch here, let's just pretend. I won't lie to you guys that sometimes I do paint... If I if the paint splatter that I organically put on doesn't land exactly where I want it to, or maybe a blob didn't land where I was expecting, I fully paint them on. <laughs> I keep organic ones, but I will, if one needs to go somewhere specific, I will paint a new one. And you just kind of have to ruffle out those. How dare you? I know. What a cheater. Splotch, splotch. Okay, okay. How's that? How's that? All right. Adam says I sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> yep. You ain't wrong. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, is that good? Like, is that... Is it done? I think so. Does that mean it's everybody's favorite time? Thumbnail time? Oh my gosh, it's taking a second for my eyes to get over there. Wow, I can't believe how bad it is for me to see far. Okay. We are... Ready for a good thumbnail. Oh, you guys can see my old camera. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess, because... Go away. I don't need you anymore. Okay. Hello there, camera. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. I'm going to let this dry for a second while we wait, so that's fine. We've got a second. Oh, just kidding. Oh, my gosh. Where are you? You said you sent it on Instagram. Oh, there's another one! Ah! Okay, there's those two. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I'm so glad you guys can see my mind. Oh, there's two! Um, can I zoom this in somehow? I don't know if I can. Okay, love them though. They both look great. Send me a close-up so I can show them closey wosey. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, nail dead. Ooh, yours looks scarier. I like it. Like, oh gosh, what am I doing? That's not what I want. Ah, oh, okay, love, 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 you guys. Oh, there's the other one. Ah, they're so cute. You guys did a great job, both of you. Oh yes. Everyone, not both of you, everybody. Everyone that sent them in did so good, as usual. Okay. It's thumbnail time. How are we going to do it, folks? Oh my god, a donut! Thanks for the donut! Thanks for- cool Saturn light. Yeah, as you guys, it matches my, my thumb. You know what's really funny is that that's the cheapest. Like, I got it for like $4 off AliExpress. No, okay, maybe not $4. Maybe it was like, it was like $7 or $8. It's not like real neon light. It's like a, it's like plastic. But it's good. It's good. I am on the throne of lies. Yeah. <laughs> the lies have continued. Sorry, guys. Sorry, not sorry, really. Okay, 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 okay. What do I do for today's thumbnail?
Am I scared of it? Probably. Do I try to touch tongues with it? <laughs> Obviously Photoshop on Ripley's space outfit. Okay, done for sure. Get flirty with it. I'm just like, Ooh. okay, yes to Ripley's space outfit. I agree to that as well. Um, or the loading robot. Yes. You guys are the best. You always have the best ideas. Okay. 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 So where am I in the center here? This is roughly the center. Um, um let me see. Sorry, I just got a, a floppy tongue. A floppy toque. Photoshop myself as the predator. <laughs> so there's just two predators. We're just like. <laughs> A floppy toque is actually really funny. If I just make my head that long. Okay, okay, okay. You guys, okay, okay, okay. So I'm either Ripley or also a predator. My head should probably be long. Am I scared of him or am I him? I feel like I need to get this off. Chris has I can pretend like I'm running from it. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that too. Or I'm just like... I always love being a puppet. I don't know how to do robot hands. Someone said robot hands. Well, we run differently. But I can only run... Oh, oh wait, so then I'd have to be, like, behind me, like... <laughs> um. Okay, wait, which side should he be on? On this side. Or on this side. I know Photoshop myself as a predator, I think is good, especially coming off yesterday, last week's where I Photoshopped myself as um, baby Yoda. Just kidding. The child. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> but that was the best for sure. Came for the Xeno stage for the thumbnails. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I, well, I like when we're facing each other better. Oops. Get out of here, guy. Um, I feel like I should, like, stick my tongue out and have a long head. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. You're supposed to art direct me. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Paintbrush has a tongue. Illum! Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> I don't have to put a paintbrush in my mouth. <laughs> Long head like a cone head. Yeah, no, I think for sure I'm going to Photoshop a cone. That's the best. I think that's the best bet. Okay. I think that's the best bet. Commit to it. <laughs> put the paintbrush in your mouth, bitch. <laughs> Okay, my problem is I already just ingest enough paint. I can't commit. I can't commit to it. I'll gag. <laughs> and I'm allergic to a couple of them. We didn't use the one I'm allergic to, so that's good. Wouldn't that be funny if just one day I just... That's, that's my death is just overdose of paint. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, this is him, and then I will be an alien over here. <laughs> Why the heck do you keep an allergy brush? What do you mean, allergy brush? What do you mean? Oh, okay. I could have him bite my neck. No, I'm not allergic to a brush, I'm allergic to a paint. Like, I'm allergic to 
something that goes into most red and orange paints. Seems like you're allergic to awesome. Well, you know, what can you do? Oh, should I make him come out of my chest? <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Like, how would I even do that? I have to go farther back. <laughs> the way that... <laughs> no, I can't. I don't know how to do it. Wow! <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> okay, I just we'll just see. Maybe I'll just I don't know. I think with all that we've got a lot of good stuff in there, I think. Hey guy. Put a face hugger on my face. <laughs> you guys, we've got lots of options. We'll see what comes up. In the morning you'll see what I decide. Eat my neck. That's a good one too. Obviously, I should be in a horror movie. <laughs> this is actually my audition tape. If anybody's hiring for just people who have to die very dramatic deaths, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yeah, Al. It's Al God. This is the best part of my streams. Every time we um. <laughs> spend 45 minutes trying to decide what my thumbnail picture is going to be and we always enjoy every minute of it don't we <laughs> that's a clip for the gram where i just got eaten <laughs> oh you guys i can't read with my glasses on anymore i have to figure that out i always wonder what it sounded like dying with a mouthful of liquid well now that's part of my what is it when uh actor a reel it's part of my reel now don't worry you guys i'm accepting offers if you're hiring for your next film just holler at your girl call my momager justin he's in the comments <laughs> he'll let me know if it's worthwhile or not you know um okay i guess oh i got like paint in my eye got wild there for a minute Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next Thursday. We have what? We are painting a rainbow zebra. Okay? It's going to be fun. Thursday. Yay. Exactly. Every Thursday. Don't you forget it. We've got uh, the Rainbow Zebra, but then the first Thursday of February, I decided we're going to paint Pikachu. So keep that. Another donut. Oh my gosh, you guys are just spoiling me there in the comments. Um, we're painting a Pikachu. Okay. Uh, I had, I'm painting him right now for a Valentine's Day card. And then somebody was like, oh my God, we should do a Pikachu. Why don't we? And I say... That's a great idea. So I added it to the calendar already. Um, if you don't share the stream to 50 people, you'll be cursed. <laughs> That's my other manager. There. <laughs> That's my marketing aid, actually. <laughs> but you're just catching me at the end. So good time. Um, uh, yeah, every Thursday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. You'll always see what we're painting on my Instagram. I post it. I try to post it every Sunday or recently I started picking what we're painting for the whole month, which never happened. I used to always pick it the Sunday before, but now I'm just organized and more mature since I've aged a year since I've seen you last. Um, but that's about it. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Etsy, TikTok, take Tasty across the board. Okay. I'm an organized bitch now. What can you do? <laughs> Just kidding. And uh, if you want to see my day to day, always know I'm on Instagram posting my stories. I keep you updated on what's going there. And soon enough, I'll be streaming more, but not yet. For now, we're just to the Thursdays. Okay? Thanks for coming, new and old. Today was a good day. I think we had a good stream today. We had great results, good peanut gallery. I love it. Okay. 
Let's see if this time, oh, Al, God, you're the best. Um, uh, we'll see if I can get all, remember last time I thought I wasn't streaming anymore and then I like was streaming still and you guys were just watching me like chill here for a second. Let's just hope for the best that I'm gone for real this time, okay? Catch you on the flip side. See you. All oh, right, but now YouTube's going to see this. <laughs> okay, bye, guys.